Oh man, what should I do for a show? I know. I should play Diablo 3. Oh man. 60 bucks. I don't have that kind of money. Free demo. It's free, right? And it's a demo? Yeah, I'll play that. See what it's about before I spend 50 59.99 Hello. This is me, Atomic Electron, and this is my new show. I call it Games on Trial, where I play a free demo of a game and then I review it. I am not reviewing the full game. I am reviewing what I have in the demo. I am aware demos don't always have the same features that the full game does. Case in point, the game I'm about to play, Diablo 3. I will get on to that soon. But, let us commence our fabulous review. So, first off, I just want to say right now, this game is different. I don't like different. Diablo 2 and Diablo 1 were great games. This at least on consoles, is not Diablo. This is Torchlight with a controller. And Torchlight should not be played with a controller. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm saying it's a bad Diablo game. It's a good RPG and a great dungeon crawler. Not a good Diablo game though. At least from what I have in the demo. I shouldn't compare it too much, considering there are a lot of limitations in the demo, but not a good game. Not a good Diablo game. Sorry. So, let's start off. A, it's free, so that's always great. But what's better is how I love how they only give you two class options out of five. I mean, yeah, it's a demo, but couldn't you give us a whole package? Give us at least four classes. Maybe have one super OP class just for us who bought the game. No. Instead, they gave us two people. A barbarian or a wizard. I wouldn't be surprised if there was an archer class and a wall breaker class. Cough, cough. Clash of Clans. I love that game. Cough. Now, the barb, whom I played as, he played pretty well. The combat was very intricate, at least for the skills I had. The level cap is level 9, so you can't really get all the skills. However, the skills they give you are like a multiple hit uh, kind of regular bash. Then there's just standard hit one guy bash. Then they have like this cool like whoosh warhammer thing. And there's this other thing that will make enemies bleed around you and then uh, there's the one where you like ground pound and it stuns a bunch of people and there's also a leap one where you basically leap to the guy it's basically a ranged attack only it teleports you it's kind of useless um, then there's the last one which I like a lot it's where you throw a giant spear at a guy and you pull him to him. You pull him to you, and then you can kill him. It does damage and pulls him to you, so you can do more damage. Which I personally love those kinds of moves in games. Skyrim, I love getting people with telekinesis and just be like, Come to me! What's up? That never happens in Skyrim, but it should. Take note of that. Now, 